Hi, it's Julia from Air Focus, and you're watching part two of Getting Started with Air Focus. You will learn about workspaces, what they are, how to create them, how to manage them, and how to set them up to make them match your needs. So let's dive right into it. This is our home screen. On the left side, we have several sections. Uh, we have our favorites and we have our workspace sections. Now, what is a workspace? A workspace is a place where you can uh, store and work and visualize your data. Your data in form of issues, epics, tasks, stories, initiatives, whatever you want to call them, also feedback and ideas. You can work with them in your workspaces and set them up in different ways. So let's take a look. Here we have different workspace groups. And here we have individual workspaces in each of those groups. So let's take a look of how we can set this up. We could, for example, have a one workspace group per product that we have available. It is very easy to create a workspace and to create a workspace group. If I choose new group, I can name the group, uh, let's say Voom video platform. Then we can also set up team permissions. This chooses which level of access every team member should have to every workspace in this group. So a default permission setting. Let's give everyone um, common access. Then we can also manually add members and set manual permissions. For example, for our, our colleague Amando, we will uh, give him full access. Now let's create this group. Here we have our new group. We can also drag and drop groups around to restructure the order. Now we can also add individual workspaces. We can do that by using one of our many templates from our template store. Feel free to browse through the template store. There's a lot of different um, templates available for you depending on what you need and depending on what outcome you're seeking, for what outcome you're seeking. So let's uh, start by uh, choosing our full product management workflow, which will create a workspace group with three individual workspaces. Um, it will create a strategic roadmap, an opportunity pipeline, and a feedback and insights workspace to manage our feedback. Here you have a visual representation of what exactly uh, it will create and how it will work. If you have questions about any of the templates, feel free to also reach out to us and we will be happy to help you here in the chat. Now let's use this template. It will be called full product management workflow. Again, we can set up the team permissions and add our members. Let's create this. Now, just by one click, we have added a um, whole, um, a whole uh, set of workspaces under which we have the strategic roadmap, an opportunity pipeline, and the feedback and insights um, management. To make everything quickly accessible for you, you can also add workspaces to your favorites. Let's add our strategic roadmap to our favorites. As you can see, we now have it up here in our favorites section, where again, we can um, restructure the order by drag and dropping the workspaces around. We can also remove our workspace from our favorite section again. Now, let's take a look at the workspace settings. We can access them either here by um, clicking on the three dots or the so-called hamburger menu settings, or we can also access them by, the, uh, by going to the open workspace and clicking again on the hamburger menu up here. In the settings, we have several 
tabs. The first one is the general one, where we can set up and change the workspace name, where we can set up and change the item type. Keep in mind, this is our workspace for our initiatives. And then we can also set a, a default item color in the general workspace settings. Our second tab is the views tab. I'm going to talk about views in the next video uh, in part three of um, the video series to get you onboarded. So keep tuned for the views. Uh, in the next tab, we have our fields. Fields are uh, individually set up per workspace. So you can have one set of fields for the strategic ro roadmap, a different set of fields for the opportunity timeline, and another different set of fields for feedback and insights, which makes a lot of sen and sense and is very useful because um, we might have a different uh, set of fields and different information for our feedback. There we want the information from the customer, their contact details, their email, and so on. And in the strategic roadmap, we want uh, information like the objective, the roadmap lane, labels, and so on. We can also add more fields as the ones that we already have from our template just by clicking on add field. Here we can select from a variety of different field types, select fields, yes or no field, a lot of different number fields, date range, date fields, text and people fields. By adding a field, you can give, the, give your field a name. You can add a description to let everybody on the team know what this field is actually about. You can allow multiple selections, which would make it possible to choose both the option increase engagement and increase revenue. This doesn't really make sense for a single select field about objectives. So we are going to keep it like this. We can also add more options where we can um, give it a name, add a description again, choose a color and so on. Um, we can also access, uh, again, the, the, the options, um, the settings for each of the options here. We can also drag and drop the order, again, of the individual options that we can choose from. And the same goes for the other fields as well. Um, now, uh, keep in mind, that you can have uh, that you have different fields in the individual workspaces. But a quick hack that I would like to uh, inform you about is if you would, um, if you have one workspace with a set of fields that you would like to have in a second workspace, you can also just quickly do this by duplicating your workspace, and you can do this here in the settings again. So we can duplicate this workspace. And this would give us a new workspace. Um, keep in mind integrations, hierarchy, and some of the apps will not be uh, duplicated, but the fields, they will be duplicated. So now this will give us a second workspace. Just by one click, we have a workspace with the same set of fields that we have in the first workspace. So this will uh, keep us from having to create all the individual fields uh, manually again. All right, let's go back to our workspace, to our workspace settings. Uh, we have uh, created all our fields, we have uh, created all of our options. Now, um, where do we see those fields? We see them in our items. For that, I go to uh, my strategic roadmap and I open an item just for you to see the fields. Here we have the objective, the roadmap lane, the label fields, and the outcome fields that we created in our workspace settings. Now, what happens if I change the order here? This will update the order of how the fields are being displayed in the item card. Let's take a look at the rest of the tabs. So after the fields, we have our hierarchy. 
So the hierarchy that allows you um, to define parent items and child items. The parent items, for example, could be epics and child items from the epics could be storage initiatives, tasks, and so on. Now in our example, um, we have for the strategic roadmap, we have our initiatives. We want those initiatives to, initiatives to be our parent items. And below our parent items, we want to have our child items from our opportunity pipeline workspace because our opportunity workspace pipeline is our opportunities. So on top, we have our initiatives and then we want our opportunities. We can do this in our hierarchy uh, where we define where our parent items come from. We can add workspaces here. And we have added our strategic roadmap as our parent workspace. We can also add multiple workspaces, of course. So we could make another opportunity workspace, also our parent workspace. And then we could also add uh, a child workspace to our current strategic roadmap initiatives workspace where we're currently on. Um, we can also allow hierarchy relations within one workspace. This would allow us to set items from our strategic roadmap workspace as parents and children from each other. We do recommend though to having everything separate into individual workspaces. So let's take a look how our hierarchy um, looks in a view. Here in this um, item, allow users to receive and manage notifications. We already have um, our opportunities as the parent items. And, um, oh, sorry, we have our allow users to receive and, man and manage notifications as our parent item with the child items from our opportunities workspace. And we can also add more child items to it. So here we will have our parent item on top and our child items below. We will talk about the different visualizations and views in the next video for more details. Now let's go back to our workspace settings. We have talked about the general settings, the views, the fields, the hierarchy. Now let's quickly go back uh, to the beginning. We already talked about the permissions. We can of course, um, edit them and customize them also in here in the permissions um, tab in the general workspace settings. Um, here we can set the default team permissions for all of the team. We can give all of the team um, read only or comment or write or full or no access. And then again, for each individual member, we can set it up um, and customize it even more. So those are the workspace settings. And um, this has been the general video about the workspaces. Keep tuned, watch part three. Now for our um, views, we're going to talk about the different view types and um, how to use views. Thank you very much for watching this. Uh, see you in the next one.